Hello and welcome to this section of the TI-89 Calculator Tutor. Here we're going to learn how to use the calculator to calculate the distance, the straight line distance between uh, two points in a graph. Uh, not something that you'll use too much, but it's kind of a neat thing. So let's go ahead and put in two random equations. We'll do x squared and uh, we'll do a line uh, negative x minus 3 because we're used to looking at these guys. We'll go in the graph and we'll just watch it graph here and, and show you what we're talking about here. So we've got a parabola on the top, that's y1. y2 is this uh, line that's sloped negatively like this off catty corner to the left. And what this does here in the math menu, if you go down below inflection, you'll see distance. So it's really allowing you to calculate the straight line distance. So let's say I wanted to find the distance between this point here and this point here. So I could just hit enter and I can go off to the second point over here. Notice it's drawing a line between my, my initial and final points. What if I wanted to find the straight line distance between these two points? I hit enter and it's going to calculate the distance uh, and it's just using the distance formula by the way. You know square root of of delta x squared plus delta y uh, squared. So that's basically what the, the distance formula is. And um, using the two points here that we have, it's figuring out what the distance is between those, those two points. And uh, calculating 3.9. Now when we do it, we can actually force it to, to use exact values of x if we want to. So let's go down here. It's going to be number 9, I believe. So we'll hit number 9. Uh, you know, we can use the trace function to select a, a value, but we can type in a function. Let's type in 2, the exact value of 2. So it'll snap over there, and uh, we'll go over here, and let's type in a value of negative 3, let's say. Negative 3, something over here. Hit enter, and it'll calculate the distance is 7.07. .07. So again, not something that you'll use too much, but if you ever have a need to do a straight line distance like that, it can be kind of useful. Uh, now the other thing is, it doesn't have to be two points on the same graph. We can go in here, number nine for distance. I can select my first point here, or type it in. And then if I want to calculate to, to some point on this graph, I just hit down to snap me to the other graph, and I can select a point over here. So if I have two graphs on the screen, I can anchor the two points and find out the distance between them. Again, it's not something that you're going to use every day, but it's something that occasionally might pop up. You might have two functions that are related to one another and you're trying to find how far they're shifted between one another or what the distance between them is. And um, in that case, when you have to do that, it's actually a really handy function to have. So uh, play around with it. Uh, put it in your back pocket. Know that your calculator can do it. If you ever have a need to do something like that, at least you'll know how to do it. And it's pretty handy and it's something that's pretty easy to pull off. As long as you know that it's here in the math menu, scroll down past number 8 and uh, in this list of functions down there.